talk about But it's filled with love that's grown in southern ground And a little bit of chicken fry A cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans to fit just right Get in the radio up I like to see the sunrise See the love in my woman's eyes Feel the touch of my precious child I know a mother's love Hello, welcome to the channel. Just want to start this tutorial by saying that this is by far the most fun I have had doing this project. The thing with this project is, it's not like how technical it is. The tutorial part of it is very simple. It's just how committed you are to making the effect work. So let me just show you. When you start, you have your clip on the edit tab. Then you select fusion. And basically what you're trying, you're trying to make an effect that goes on top of the clip. So to start with that, you need to press shift space and then go background to do a background note. And then shift space again, do a paint note. And you want to do a glow effect. So we're going to do it with a soft glow. Next, you want to merge these nodes with your input. So you're just gonna make another shift space, do a merge. And you can connect this in here. And this one with that. But you notice that the the screen turned black. That's because your background alpha is at one. So you put that down to zero. Grab the paint and make sure you select a clone and the bucket. And now you can draw. So the way this effect works is let's say you draw something, you press the right arrow key and then And then press the right arrow key and you keep tracing and adding some of these effects so now it's going to look like it's moving right then right key and then you move one frame at a time and make your effect so you just have to rinse and repeat until you find the one that you like okay and then right and there you go so the effect is going to look something like this if you want to change your color, you can change it in the paint node from, from here. Or you can go to the soft glow and change your color scaling. So let's say you want it a little bit more blue. Then go back. It turned a little bit blue. So you can play around with the colors until you find something you like. And then that's pretty much how you make these effects. So I wanted to go through what was going on when I was trying to make these effects. So to start with, I wanted to do something that was repeatable, that looked nice, and I can pretty much move it around the frame. So I had three focal points. The guitar strings, his arm motion, and the lyrics. Starting off, I wanted to make something with the guitar and how everything looks. I'm playing around with how the lyrics is gonna look like. So I didn't want him to kind of show up and disappear right away. So Going back to the edit tab, I had to go and make sure that every sentence uh, or every phrase he started, I make a note of it on Fusion, so I don't kind of overlap the words. I thought the effect went pretty pretty decent. 
and now I'm going through the guitar strings and I wanted to make something cool so every time he flicks I have something that uh, reflects that with the music and the tunes so that was probably the most challenging part of the project is to go in and make sure that the flick reflects something in the effect pretty much just going back and forth making sure every time uh, he flicks I add a little bit of wave to show how um, intense it was and I tried to limit myself with three colors between three to four colors is decent more than that is just over doing the effect in this in this section I'm just trying to play around with the colors see which one was fit because I wanted to make a heart so if it was too red it would just stand out too much uh, this one had like a little bit of pinkish glow so it did the job I wanted it to have a little bit more glow but if I do that it just it was oversaturated and I just was playing around with the effects and I came up with this uh, lightning effect and I thought it looked really really sick I had to replicate that for the end of the clip it was very very cool and I keep exporting every like 30 minutes or so just trying to see how the effect will work because when you play back in the edit and the fusion tap it's very slowed down it plays around um, like 9 to 10 frames per second which is not uh, not really ideal so my workflow is I just work a little bit on the effect deliver export it and see how it looks if I like it then I'll keep going if not I just go and delete it and repeat so now as we're just playing around just focus more on 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 him right now so I tried to get that done I wanted to get more effects on the guitar and getting a lot more of the heart animation going to keep up the continuity of the of the scene and that way it uh, it kind of looks all very coherent When he said sunrise, I wanted to get something that was engaging on the screen, so I wanted to make a, a sun. And I wanted to play around with the glasses, but I didn't like how the effect looked. Uh, but I opted out for for this uh, very, very short effect, three seconds, just on the glasses itself. Which I thought looked really anime, kind of cool. And this one I'm just trying to play with just the flick itself and just trying to do something a little bit different. It's more practice and also just having fun with the project because if you keep doing the same effect over and over it gets very monotonous. If you really like my breakdowns uh, I'll be making more of them in the future. Comment if you have any questions um, ask me directly I'd love to help you out and see you next time.